Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2017 mid-month readings. Thank you for joining us here today. Welcome to any newcomers. Uh, thank you for all your likes, share, subscribe. Uh, your feedback, support, and comments. They're great. Keep them coming. I do read uh, all of the comments, or at least almost all of the comments. I don't have time to respond to them, uh, although I try to take the time to respond to the ones that people send me an email, but I, I don't have the time to do all of that either. But I do read the comments, so thank you very much for them and keep them coming. Thank you to my regular clients as well for your consistent uh, feedback on how our readings play out in your lives. And also just a general thank you to those of you who continue to reach out for personal readings. It's always an honor and a pleasure to read for you. If any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me and you haven't read with me before, you can click on the About or Description button on my YouTube channel's homepage for more information and my email address. You can email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire, at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. I do readings full-time six days a week, so I'm usually able to get back with you quite quickly. And turnaround time is anywhere from a few days upwards of two weeks, but almost always within a two-week period of time, we can schedule a reading live uh, or recorded. So email me if you're interested and we'll go from there. So these are general readings and there's a lot of you watching. So of course they're not going to resonate the same or mean the same thing to everybody watching. I mean it's impossible. They couldn't possibly. Which is why we always suggest that you check your rising and your moon sign videos as well for additional clarification and insight. And they may resonate a little more predictively for you during some time periods than others. So try to watch all three if you know them and if you can. So these are the mid-month readings. I'm going to be pulling two cards for each of the remaining two weeks of July 2017 with an additional fifth card from the bottom of the deck for overall guidance and advice. And this reading is for Leo, the fire sign of Leo. Leo the lion for July 2017 mid-month. Let us see what the last half of July have in store for our Leos. I am recording these in the first half of July. July 2017, mid-month for the fire sign of Leo. Okay, Leo. We begin with the Seven of Swords and the King of Swords. Hmm. Strength and the Four of Swords. From the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and guidance is the Six of Swords. All swords and one major arcana card. So we begin at mid-month July, Leo, with the Seven of Swords accompanied by the King of Swords. So Swords is air energy. Air is the element which governs this suit. And in the tarot, the suit of Swords is all about what goes on up in our heads and how that affects our communication, words, ideas, belief systems, outlooks, perspectives, what we think about things and how we communicate those. It's a very mental, cerebral, intellectual uh, uh, energy. It's all about what goes on up in our heads and, and, and how we communicate based on that, our perspectives and belief systems. Uh, swords is also about truth, illumination, reality, clarity, insight, and sometimes higher education and learning as well. Uh, the people of the suit of swords, the court cards, can sometimes come across as very uh, intellectual or cerebral people, maybe coming from a place of the head uh, before the heart. Uh, sometimes they can come across as a little emotionally detached. They don't necessarily mean to be. Um, they just have that kind of, uh, 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 you know, they tend to make decisions based on thoughts, practicality, facts, uh, over feelings. They tend not to be too spontaneous or impulsive, which the King of Swords, of course, would be as well. The Seven of Swords, however, the Seven of Swords is sometimes referred to as the Thief card. It can represent actual tangible theft, like theft of, of money, property, resources, assets, etc. Fundamentally, the energy of the Seven of Swords is... Uh, It's about deception, uh, things being hidden, uh, perhaps someone or some a, a, a person or, or a situation being portrayed as one thing when in fact it's really something else. It can represent needing to be secretive about how you do something, needing to keep your, you know, keep your cards pretty close to your chest, not talk about plans or reveal plans. Uh, now it's paired though with the King of Swords. So kings and queens represent individuals who have reached the mastery of their suit. They've, they've matured beyond that, uh, 
the beginning energy of the page, that impulsive, spontaneous energy of the knights. Uh, so they've reached a point where they're they're able to balance and access uh, the elemental energy and character traits of their of their suit. So the King of Swords would be uh, probably an older male. Uh, if not chronologically, at least just in, in, in their emotional makeup, uh, even though kings and queens still have their bad immature days as well. The king of swords would, would uh, likely be an air sign uh, person, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It's showing up as a male, but since this is a general reading, it could uh, easily be a female as well, or just a masculine aspect that, that comes into play uh, in a certain situation from a female. It doesn't need to be all that gender specific, particularly in general readings. This is somebody who is uh, intelligent, articulate, uh, probably uh, uh, this is somebody who would make a good teacher, a good leader, particularly a good teacher. is very good at delivering information, very clear, concise. Uh, sometimes uh, he can come across as being very charismatic, like the super smart professor that all the girls are in love with. Uh, somebody who... Um, Typically, court cards from the suit of swords are one to go right to the heart of the matter, uh, not sugarcoat things. They tend not to be too spontaneous or impulsive because they like to consider things, weigh everything out before they make uh, decisions about something. Uh, they, they're usually about truth, illumination. Sometimes they're... Sometimes uh, they're willing to even sacrifice their own emotions on the altar of truth, on reality, on what is. But paired with the Seven of Swords, I mean, the story's going to split a few different ways because there's a lot of you watching. For some of you, I mean, your overall energy is you're moving away from a chaotic or, or troubling or unstable, painful time healing. It looks like you faced some fears, doubts, insecurities, wrestled with some demons and overcame them. Being tired, worn out, exhausted, needing to take a break. Something's really kind of taken a lot out of you, uh, Leo. And the Seven of Swords or the King of Swords, for some of you, this could represent an, an air sign individual, male or female, uh, Perhaps they, for some of you, it could be uh, this person actually stole from you. It could be somebody that you're involved in a relationship with, a romantic relationship. It could be a friendship, uh, somebody who uh, maybe took from you, uh, you know, finances, money, or, oh, I just got scammed. Maybe some of you were were misinformed or actually tricked or scammed into maybe putting your money into something and it turned out not to be uh, what you thought it was. I just heard that somebody actually invested in something or gave someone a lot of money, a significant amount of money for them to invest in something and it turned out to be not what it was presented to be. For some of you, and I heard this in the very beginning too, I feel like even if it's just one person or a small number of people, we're in a, have been, we're in a romantic relationship. You were coupled with this King of Swords individual and you are actually making plans to leave them somewhere in the last half of July and you're being very secretive about this, uh, these plans. I'm feeling like this relationship was inherently unhealthy and you've been making plans to um, something kind of set something off in your head and you're making plans to actually exit the relationship but you're going to do it very quickly and very quietly. You're, you're keeping those plans to yourself or the advice is to be careful about who you tell this to so it doesn't get back to your partner before you actually leave because it looks like it's an unhealthy relationship. It might even be abusive for some of you. So I'm getting that for some of you. And it's for the purposes of leaving because it's not a healthy relationship. For others of you, <clears throat> the Seven of Swords can sometimes also represent being taken from in an emotional or spiritual sense, uh, giving and giving and giving to somebody and they're constantly taking so you end up feeling ex exploited, depleted, taken advantage of. This is all in the relationship sector. And uh, work, career, and finance, this could represent that you, that perhaps, you know, somebody who perhaps is in some position of authority or status at work, or maybe seniority has been there for a long time, perhaps they're being, they're doing something illegal or doing something that they're not supposed to do, and you are aware of it. Um, And it could be for you that, that there may be a dilemma in, do I, you know, do I out this person? Uh, do I tell on this person or not? Do I, I, do I bring this to, uh, you know, the attention of the company or, or just, you know, a, a higher up individual? Huh. 
<laughs> some of you I'm getting some of you I'm getting are you and your partner are in a financially difficult situation and you're I, I feel like somebody's like skipping out on their rent or you know like like leaving their apartment or or someplace that they're renting you know on the weekend or late at night or something like that with your partner uh, because you you can't pay the rent or there's some kind of financial difficulties there as well Some of you, this could be a friend that you know that's doing something illegal, doing something wrong, uh, and you know about it. And for some reason, it, it, it's causing a significant rift in your relationship where it's putting you in a position where uh, knowledge of this deception, regardless on what the relationship is, it looks like it's it's really it's really a, a factor for you. Like it's it's really it's something that's really bothering you, taking a lot out of you. It looks like. The specifics of it are going to vary, of course, you know, because there's so many of you watching, but the energy fundamentally re remains the same. There's some kind of deception energy around this King of Swords individual that's affecting you in a pretty strong way, whether it's in a relationship sense, rela you know, a romantic relationship, a friendship, and career work and finance as well. Something is kind of going on undercover that's not right for a lot of you. For some of you, you're walking away from a King of Swords uh, because of deception and lies. Some of you are are doing it, you know, kind of undercover or not telling anybody about it, um, because the whole the whole reason is it's it feels like a mess. <laughs> I'm kind of stuttering. It feels like a big tangled mess, and you're actually in the last half of July. You're making plans to kind of leave the situation, move away from this person, separate yourself from uh, whatever the situation is or the nature of this relationship is, because uh, for a lot of you, the deception part of it is just. Um, it, I get this uh, kind of this thing in the back of my head saying, I, I, I don't want to have any part of this. Uh, some of you, it could be you, you were even asked to take part in this, or you may have been doing something illegal or not quite right with this King of Swords individual. Maybe you got caught up in something, but you're deciding in the last half of July, I'm, I need to get out of this. This is kind of over my head. This is too big for me. I need to exit out of this. It's it's kind of leaving because it feels like you. it's just taken a lot out of you, however this specifics play out and you're wanting to leave. At or towards the end of July 2017, we have strength paired with the Four of Swords. It's an in interesting, very interesting reading and it's it feels kind of complex, like there may be a lot of moving parts in this uh, situation for a lot of you. So strength and the Four of Swords. Strength is a major arcana card and this is the kind of strength it's a more quiet, grounded kind of strength. It's the kind of strength that comes from facing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, taking a good, hard, realistic look at yourself, uh, making the changes that you can and coming to an acceptance of what's left and coming to an acceptance of yourself uh, in, in, in all of it, looking at yourself uh, with a very clear, you know, Especially for those of you who may have been involved in doing something that you weren't supposed to do, something that was deceptive or illegal, uh, perhaps it had something to do with, you know, cheating or stealing or something like that. And I feel like for those of you maybe who were caught up in that or caught up in the knowledge of other people doing it but keeping quiet, you, you kind of took a really good look at what was going on because it was really bothering you, really just kind of gnawing away at you, and you've decided to separate yourself from it. Whatever the it is is going to vary depending on, you know, who you are, personal relationships, work relationships, something else that you chose to get caught up in, you know, uh, uh, something illegal, something not right, could be selling drugs, I mean, anything. Uh, and you've made a decision, I can't continue to do this anymore, I can't continue to be part of it, I can't even continue to be aware of it, I need to remove myself from this because this is not healthy for me and it's really just been kind of eating away at me that's kind of the sense I'm feeling it's just taken a lot out of you but you've decided to face that and make decision to separate yourself from that you know in the last half of July maybe beginning of August and that strength card is paired with the four of swords which is a card of rest respite restoration it's a card of feeling tired worn out exhausted withdrawing uh, from conflict even if it's temporary to take care of yourself to rest uh, to get a 
different perspective, remove yourself from it to get a different perspective, go within, seek out insight, clarity, uh, uh, which it looks like you need to do um, because it looks like, again, this is something which has taken a lot out of you. It could be that it's just something that's been weighing heavily on you, either being part of it or just being in knowledge of it, being aware of it uh, for a lot of you, except for the portion of you that are kind of leaving a relationship that's been unhealthy, uh, which could have included also some some deceptive or illegal activities as well. Just a general sense of leaving it behind. You finally faced it, faced the truth the truth of it, took a good hard look at, at yourself and decided to remove yourself from it. Uh, retreat, rest, restoration, getting more sleep, letting go of a lot of this stress, anxiety, worry. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be like a great weight has been lifted off you and you're moving into more peaceful, healing, stable placid, lovely, boring energy because your overall uh, energy, guidance and energy from the bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords. Uh, this is a card of peace, restoration, and healing. There's always cautionary advice with the Six of Swords, though. Wherever you go, you take your thoughts with you. Sometimes this can be a, a never forget, never forgive uh, kind of, of card as well. Uh, she's taking these swords with her as she's leaving. Uh, so make sure if you're if you're exiting a, an unhealthy relationship or situation, um, and that's part of the strength card too. Take the lesson of it with you, whatever value you can get out of it, whatever you've learned from it, any bitterness or resentment, try to leave uh, as much of that behind as possible uh, because it, it actually interferes with the healing process. But the Six of Swords is a card of moving away from a chaotic time. Like the waters behind this boat would be very choppy and wavy and turbulent, but she's moving into waters which are peaceful and placid and serene. So it's a card of peace, restoration, and healing. It can be a quiet kind of somber energy but not inherently negative it's transitional energy meaning that the worst is behind you the bottom you know the you, you've already reached that bottoming out part uh, you're not quite to the other shores yet where everything is is settled and serene you haven't reached your destination but you're in process you're slowly but surely moving away and de def definitively uh, there's no looking back you you're completely moving away turning your back on whatever this is and moving into a, a healthier more peaceful place where you you can sleep better at night. Some of you, it might even be a literal move. Just, it's like a weight will be lifted off of you and the anxiety, worry, and stress. Um, you can take better care of yourself. You can relax more um, because it's kind of like you're not going to be holding this. Uh, it's not going to be kind of hovering over you. For those of you that perhaps are leaving a situation where you've been doing things you weren't supposed to or even illegal stuff, you won't have to be kind of looking over your shoulder anymore. It's, an, it's a very interesting reading, and I'll be, uh, I'm curious as to see what kind of feedback I get off this, how it actually resonates for some of you. It may not resonate at all for some of you because <laughs> it feels kind of specifically oriented towards a couple of situations. So if that's the case, check your rising and your moon sign as well. So Leo, that pretty much wraps up your July 2017 mid-month readings. I hope you have enjoyed them or that it, it's at least brought you um, a bit of insight, clarity, food for thought, some comfort and reassurance as well. Again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, with me. If you haven't read with me before, just click on that about or description button on my YouTube channel's homepage, which will give you a little more information and detail. Uh, you can email me directly at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you. Uh, I will see you all again towards the end of the month uh, for the beginning of the month readings for August. Uh, it feels like the time is just flying by. So until I see you again, Leo, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.